You know, yes, Mid Ohio is one of those places that also you cannot uh, uh, forget about it. It's, it's part of IndyCar series, you know, and the fun part of it, as you said, is so many people, especially on the, on the hill, you know, right there, people like kind of watching. And it, it's the biggest event for them that weekend. So uh, it's great to, uh, to uh, go to a place where everybody welcome. Plus, it's a very challenged place, very challenged track. So hopefully with the push to pass this year, with the long straightaway, we'll be able to make some great passes. You know, uh, Mid-Ohio has been a place that I've done really well. I qualified on the front row there a couple of years ago, and um, uh, it's a momentum track. It's a, f it's a very much a rhythm track because, um, well, I guess it's as simple as you have to have a car that works, and if it works, it works the whole track because it's a lot of sort of m medium speed corners, and, um, and so I've had that before there, so I know what I need in the, in the car. It's just a matter of getting that, and every year rules change and tires change, and, you know, it makes for a challenge. So, um, you know, I think, that, uh, I think that if we are, you know, good from the beginning and we make a few improvements, I don't see any reason why we can't have a good race at Mid-Ohio. I think Mid-Ohio is cool, and and you know like um, the the keyhole you know like turn two obviously there's a lot of fans that are up there and uh, it's the spot to be uh, for passing um, and um, I think you can see like uh, the, the, the the support from the fans just on the racetrack where you know there's not a lot of grandstand but there's a lot of hills you know when you go down the turn three turn four on the um, the warm-up lap, you know, you just get there and you don't see the grass no more. It's just full of fans, so it's actually pretty fun, pretty fun for the drivers.